loads of you have been asking on Facebook groups and family forums about uh, camping wagons, beach wagons. So we decided to buy one and review it for you. This, here in the box, is the Ozark Trail Wagon. They're 50 pounds currently from Asda and you can get them delivered to home for free. Harrison, you wanna help build it? Yeah? We're gonna build it. We'll let you know how easy it is, and then we're gonna put it through its paces. Oh, bad. So there's nothing else in the box. That's that's it. Okay, we've got some pretty. They're really tough wheels. So, seven inch heavy duty wheels, extendable handle for easy towing. We'll see when both the kids are in there. Back mesh organizer pouch, I like that, organizing. Removable reinforced base, foldable to compact size for easy carrying. Compact size. Yeah, it's not too heavy. I wouldn't want to lug that around very much though. Okay, let's unfold the folding wagon. So, it's a bit like a kid's travel car. You've got the base wrapped around the entire thing. There are actually no instructions on this, so it's just, um, I'm assuming it's just intuitive. And even I should be able to work it out. So, there's the handle. but they're inside that's not that useful is it really inside the actual wagon <laughs> when you need to build the wagon but um, to be honest that's it's pretty simple take that off unfold this push it down it's just it's just it's like it reminds me of a travel car actually a kid's travel car very similar sort of setup and there's your base Quite tough to pop in the bottom. And then we can bung all our things in there to go to the beach or go camping or whatever. Today we are going to the beach. So this is how the handle works. You in these buttons here, pull up, if you want the extra length on the handle, flip that red lever up, push it back down until it's locked, and then it just clips in and out, there's just a little clip here, it clips in and out so you can pick it up and ready to, ready to roll. So you put the handle away, release the red lever, push that back in. Of buttons here on the side, push this in, push it down. Okay, so we're on the road. So far, so good. I mean, this is easy. We got a bump. Ah! Oh, yeah, handled it well. He went wide, he went wide on the corner. We've got about 10 kilos worth of stuff in there, I think. Max load is 50 kilos, so we're, we're well underweight. And we're heading towards the sea. Lost the sun. 
but uh, we've still got the wagon. <laughs> Go. Here's the sand test. How's it doing across the sand? People seem to be enjoying soft sand. Is it is it harder to pull? On soft sand, yeah. Yeah. It suddenly feels much heavier and the wheels aren't turning so well. Get on the harder sand like that. Uh-huh. That's quite heavily sand, isn't it? So but it's, uh, it's not exactly smooth sand. Smoother than my camera work though. Oh, there we go. That's quite wet, compacted sand. And that seems quite a bit easier. Ready for our day at the beach? because in typical British fashion the weather took a turn for the worse and we ended up heading back home to uh, shelter from the rain and the wind and the cold. It is April in Wales. Um, but you know it's given me a couple of days to reflect on, on this, the Ozark Trail camping, wagon, trolley, whatever you want to call it. I think they're great. Um, if you want one, go for it. Do you need one? I, I don't know. You, you need to be fit and agile enough to use one of these. If you're that fit and agile, you can carry a huge backpack to put all your stuff in. So it's really, it really comes down to personal preference. Do you want a great big backpack on your back? Or do you want to drag one of these along the beach? I think they're brilliant. We just chucked everything in on the way there. And when we were finished at the beach, we chucked it all in and came home. There are two things I would improve on if I had the choice. Um, a braking mechanism would be good. It's really sturdy, it's not going to move while you're on the flat, but on a steep slope, you might just want to engage that brake for a minute. Um, the other thing, I would love a cover over the top. Some of them do come with covers, this one didn't. I'm going to get in touch with Ozark Trail and see if they sell one separately, because I think it would be really useful when it rains, you can keep your stuff dry and inevitably at the beach you're going to get some sand in there if you've got kids. Um, so a cover would be a great addition to this. Um, otherwise, it's, it's a really great product. Like I say, if you, if you want one, it's brilliant. Not sure if you need one, I think it will come down to personal preference. But in conclusion, this is a sturdy and inexpensive piece of kit for an outdoors family. <laughs>